Hey everybody, Alex here. I'm continuing the series where I'm showing how to do stuff with a new M1 Max. Now this is the M1 Pro 14 inch machine and I'm setting it up to do web development. So I'm gonna need Node on it. I've already installed Homebrew on it. If you missed that video, check that out. I'll link to it down below. I am gonna use Homebrew to keep going and install NVM, which is Node Version Manager, so I can have multiple versions of Node running on this machine. I currently don't have Node installed, as you can see, but I do have Homebrew installed. There you go. So let's kick things off by installing NVM. So brew install NVM, and that is that. So NVM help is not found. Well, there is one more step you have to do, and that's to add this line to your configuration file. That's the Z shell RC file. Okay. It also says you should create NVM's working directory if it doesn't exist. This one right here. Let's check to see if that directory exists. You know what? I'm just gonna go ahead and run this command because if it doesn't, it'll create it. There we go. Not a fully automated process, but at least it tells you what to do. I also don't believe, this computer is really new, so I don't believe I have that uh, configuration file, the ZSHRC file. Let's take a look. Yeah, I don't have that file. So I'm gonna create it and I'm gonna say touch and then the file name. And now if I do a listing, there it is. Now I have that file, it's empty right now, but I'm gonna put something in it and I'm gonna put this line in it right here. So let's copy that. And uh, I'm just gonna do it in VS Code. Let's pop open that file and add that line. But that's not the only thing we need to add to this file. In fact, I've added a couple more things to get this working. First, we need a local variable for the brew path to point to where that path is, because it's not in a standard location. If you see my homebrew video, you've seen me talk about that. It's an opt homebrew bin on Apple Silicon. And there is the opt path for homebrew. And here is the NVM path. That's the one we just specified. And then I export the brew path, adding it to the path. Now I have the MVM directory exported also. Now here is the part that's important. This loads NVM and I have a comment there that says that. We look at the brew path, NVM and then NVM SH. So we execute that file to load it up. And then we also have completion for MVM that also loads up. Now we should be ready to go. And if I type in NVM help here, we get the help usage there. So now in order to install node, I should just be able to say NVM install node and that should just work. So let's do that. And look at that. Because I didn't specify the version of node I wanted, it grabs the latest, which is 17. So if I check node version, now it says I have 17. If we take a look at uh, the node website here, you'll see that 17 is the current version. However, 16, as of the time of this video, is the long-term support version. That's what LTS means, long-term support. So most likely, you're gonna want the even numbered version, which is 16, 18, 20, and so on, instead of the um, most current one, which is probably not gonna be supported by all your tooling yet. So what I'm gonna do is say, NVM installed node at 16 and well, that didn't work, did it? <laughs> Let's go with NVM LS remote. This is gonna give me all the versions. Looks like my syntax was wrong. I apologize for that. You just specify the version that you want instead of node at NVM install 16 and it's as easy as that. So now I have node and then version 16. Now, if I wanna use 17, which is already installed, I can just say NVM use 17. And now if I check version, I have version 17. So I can switch between the two versions of Node. And if I wanna go back to 16, which is the case for my situation, I wanna use 16. I can just say NVM use 16, and now I'm on version 16. That's homebrew and Node out of the way, done. Subscribe to the channel for more tutorials like this, as well as more tests. Now that we've got Node installed, we're gonna be doing some JavaScript tests, React, Angular, Vue, and of course, some of the native tools that use JavaScript, like some mobile application frameworks like NativeScript and React Native and so on. Thanks for watching, folks. I'll see you next time.